Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Here we have the BD5 again. I'll show you some things that I've done and what I have not done. I'm going to cut this off right here. And you can see that um, I put that wing tube or cut that hole there for a wing tube to go through there and to go into the, the wings over here. In about a week, I'm going to start sending out the files for this to some people to help me along on building this because I don't have a lot of time for this, but I'd like this project to get done so I can um, give these files to subscribers on my YouTube channel here so they can build this and fly it. And I really like this to be a sort of like a group project for the subscribers on the channel here so everybody can build this. So yeah, but uh, this is what it looks like. And when I send the, the files out, I'm really looking for people who can um, do work in Fusion here also, because I'm not sure where they actually put the openings for the servos, for the ailerons and the flaps, et cetera, and what type of landing gear to put in here. So the people that I send the files to, most likely they're going to have, they're going to be able to use out of, uh, excuse me, on Fusion 360 already. So they can go ahead and cut an opening here and put the retract in here. Also, same thing for the bottom here. They can cut the, cut this open and put the retract in also and get things um, going pretty good. And they're able to modify the plane as needed. Also, I did not know that this stab back here is a full flying stab. So this whole thing moves. It doesn't have an elevator. But I put elevators here on here. So I'm hoping that a couple of people that I send the files to that they go ahead and make this a full flying stab. And um, if they don't know how to make it a full flying stab, uh, I can help them do that. But I just need them to, you know, go ahead and try to make it a uh, full flying stab back here. I'm also going to send a couple of files out to people who do not know how to design in Fusion 360, but I would like their input too, as far as, you know, what things they may want to see with this plane and stuff like that. So even though if you're not well versed with Fusion 360, I'm still, like I said, I'm still going to send the files out to a few people also to have a look at it so they can give me their recommendations as well. Also the, the people who, have the, the Fusion 360 background, they can put their inputs in, do their modifications to it and everything. And once this is all done, like I said, I really would like this to be, uh, you know, this will be a group project for the subscribers on the, um, the site here and everything. And um, we'll be giving this out, the files, once it's all done for the subscribers to this channel. So yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the model itself, the 3D printed model. So see you there. Here you are with the BD-5 itself. This is just painted black canopy, just for aesthetics, that's all. I didn't reprint this, but I did print the wing and the horizontal stab for this. And this is what the wing looks like on it. I did not print the aileron, and I gotta print that. I wanted to see what this actually looks like, all 3D printed up. And it's a cool looking little model, if, uh, if I say so myself. This is the canopy. A friend of mine that I um, originally designed this for and 3D printed for him, it's a larger one, he informed me that the vertical, excuse me, the horizontal stab back here is a full flying stab. So it doesn't have an elevator, it actually, the whole stab moves, um, um, rotates, so um, rotates like that. So what I've decided is just go ahead and send the files out 
to people and hope a couple of you guys will actually go ahead and make it into a flying stab back here. Now, if you need help designing that, just let me know and I will um, help you do that because I don't really have a lot of time right now to, to actually sit down and, and do that. But um, if you need help uh, designing that, I can, um, just let me know and, and I will help you with that. And what else here? Oh, okay. I didn't put the um, I didn't put the um, openings for the retracts here because I don't know what um, retracts people will be using. So whatever retracts you do use, if you could let everybody know that you're using um, a particular brand of retracts and servos also. So if you use a particular brand of servo and you cut the the um, a slot out there for that servo. If you just let people know which servo you're using, whether it be a you know a 17 gram servo, mini servo, or etc. Also, the retracts on here also let people know what um, retracts you're using. But this is it so far, and I want this. Like I said, I want this to be a group project for people who are subscribers to the site. You can download, once this is all done, you'll be able to download the files for this and go ahead and 3D print this. Uh, this will be uh, free of charge. It's just to thank you guys for uh, being a part of my YouTube channel. And yeah, so this is looking pretty good. So yeah. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the um, subscribe button as well. If you have any questions or anything, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And a lot of times, um, most of the, I, well, I answer every, um, every question. And also, I invite you to join my Facebook group and my Patreon site. Both are called Cadbill Fly RC. Go over there and have a look at the sites. On my Patreon site, you can get a lot more help from me. You can, um, I will help you design your plane if you want me to design it. What you're, um, what you're looking for, I'll um, do that. So yeah, just um, go over there and have a look. There's some great things over there. And so, yeah, so that's gonna do it for this video and we'll catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.